Hey guys, I'm sorry about that. I'm long-winded, so apparently we're doing a part two to this video. So, I'm gonna get started. Anyway, like I said, my hair has been just a mess in general. I need to restyle it. I know a lot of you guys have made comments about the hair. It's not that I haven't heard you. It's just that there's been so much going on, and I my hairdresser moved out of my state. So the, the my girl left me. So, um, I'll have to do that sometime in the next week or two, I'm hoping. Um, cause the girl that I had to do it the last time, she didn't do a bad job. She did not do what I wanted and I kind of feel bland. So I, I, I feel like a mess. I really do. I'm embarrassed of my hair. I'm not going to lie guys. Anyway, but because my hair is extremely thick and I mean, I don't know if you can tell, I'm not going to tell you what a girl told me once, but she grabbed my hair. So she grabbed my hair one time and she made a comment and um it was not very polite but in other words I have very thick hair we won't go into the rest of the details but um my hair is extremely thick my hair likes to knot very easily this was combed only a few moments ago and as you can see it's it, it knots very easily so I don't know, maybe by the time, like, I'm an old woman, I'll have, like, normal hair. Like, I don't know. But anyway, my hair eats conditioner like no tomorrow. So I have this little sample. I have no idea where it came from. It's either Sephora or Ulta. So at least I can, like, pinpoint it down to one of those two. So I'm going to try this CC Cream 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In Hair Protector. Moisturizes, shines, smoothness, softness, UV protection, manageability. We'll see about that. Strength, anti-breakage, heat protectant, and a light hold. So I'll try any conditioner in my hair at least once. It could be made out of the poop of a bird. I will more than likely put it in my hair because my hair is like in need of it. <sighs> my problem, girls is that I have so much and I haven't found a style that works with it yet. I have a lot of, I'm not one of those girls that spends a lot of time on her hair because I have to get up and going in the morning. I work a lot. So it's hard for me to like, oh, we're gonna curl my hair today. Like I'll have to wake up two hours early because there's so much of it in order to do something like that. And it really annoys me because my mother, my mother's hair is very thin though. I'll give her that. She does and she has, her hair is elaborate and gorgeous and I'm just not one of those girls because I got a freaking like horse's ass hanging off of my head. But besides the fact, oh, I didn't mean to say that. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see how this product works. It sounds amazing and um, there, it feels like a decent amount. So hopefully for a girl with as much hair as me, this will work. Sort of excited about that. Next, I have these, I don't know if I'm going to consider, I'm going to consider this one because it's a shampoo and a conditioner. Um, there's the coconut milk and coconut water um, from OGX. This company is amazing, guys. My best friend got me into this. We actually got these when Joe and I went on our last vacation. Um, we only did a weekend vacation because um, he's got a new job and we just he doesn't have vacation time so we couldn't take our normal vacation that we like to take which really hurts but that's okay anyway the hotel i booked it was very last minute because originally i thought we were going to do a regular plan i couldn't so at the very last minute i canceled my original plans which pained me more than you'll ever know and i booked this other hotel it had decent reviews it was very close to the water so i figured this wouldn't be bad it was probably one of the scratch that it was the worst um hotel experience i've ever had the room appeared clean but there was a very disgusting smell um and literally they gave you a slither of soap a slither like you couldn't use this to wash your hands and these little like they looked like what i have in here is more product than the shampoos that they left in this hotel room so wherever these guys ordered their stuff, they definitely got the cheapest of the cheap. Not that that's a bad thing, but I don't like uh, when I go on vacation, 
I don't go to like the five stars necessarily, but I do like to go to a nice place. You know, a place that you know there's not going to be any roaches or something like that. You know, I, I don't mind paying a little extra if I know I'm getting a nice place. And because I didn't do the research I should have done, we were so like not happy with it that we wouldn't even go under the covers we slept on top of the beds so that's how bad it was i'll never go there again but it was only for like two nights so we dealt with it but anyway we went and we bought this because there was literally not enough shampoo in the damn room for us to do both of our heads and i mean i have a lot of hair to begin with and that little thing was not going to work on this so we bought these they were like a dollar something um cape cod has a ton of christmas tree stores so that's where we went I love the Christmas tree store. Anyway, but, um, ooh, I shouldn't get on my nose. It's coconut. I've used this stuff before. It's amazing. But it's time to, like, get rid of these little guys. There's no reason to have them hanging. I mean, I hang on to them, like, oh, I'll bring them on vacation. Why? Because you know when you go, you're going to get them. And if, um, I, unfortunately, I normally book one of two hotels, typically, when I'm on the Cape. So I know I'll never have to worry about shampoo. But on the off chance, I mean, if I do go back and they don't have enough shampoo in the room, I know where I can go and get these little trial sizes. So I'm just going to use these up and be done with them. Plus, they're a good product. I mean, OGX, if you haven't tried it, their lotions, their shampoos, this company is amazing. And I strongly recommend it. A little on the pricier side as far as, um, like, shampoos go, but it's great. Next, and I'm counting these separate, and this is the main reason why I've been upset with the Walmart Beauty Box, is because you get this crap in your box every damn time so i'm a little upset over that but you know we'll see i'm giving them 2017 is either going to make them or break them because i said it three boxes so i've already gotten one for the year there's three more if i continue to get a multitude of repeats i'm going to be canceling the box for the following year so but um this is what they gave me back-to-back -back boxes guys not kidding so here is the first one. This is Dove Purely Pampering Nutrium Moisture. And this is in Sweet Cream with Peony. Don't get me wrong. It smells pretty. But you have any idea how many of these I've had? I've project panned at least two or three of these already. It's not a bad product. But I don't buy... I don't want to say buy. I mean, I do. It's, it's a $5 subscription. But I mean, regardless of how much it is. I don't get this box to get the same products over and over again. I want to try new things so that I can go to the store and buy them. That's not what's happening here. So I got this one. Granted, this set is different than the last one. I think I had like a clementine and orange scent, which I got two of, two. Seriously, I didn't mean to flip you off. I'm sorry, guys. Starting a little while. But I did get two of the orange one. So this is the peony scent. So we're going to use this guy up. And then the other one is this Dry Oil Moisture Nourishing Body Wash, also from Dove. Ooh, I like the smell of this one, actually. But again, um, it's the same darn thing, just a, di a different scent. And I've used them, so I already know what to expect with these. They're okay. I'm not blown away by these body washes. Now, you guys know I prefer bars of soap over a body wash any day. You know, this isn't, I'm not a body wash girl. I like bars of soap, especially with my skin problems. Um, these don't do it for me. They're not bad, but I have used better body washes. These do not hit the mark whatsoever. Now, there's only two more products, guys. And these are both makeup. So the first one is this Boxum eyeshadow by Schnauzer. Now, this is the one you guys know, you, you, you can look at any of my outfits of the days, and nine times out of ten, it's this product that's on my eyes. You're like, okay, what's on my lids today is Schnauzer, and we got this in the crease. Like, it's pretty, it's something that I use um, quite a bit of. Now, there isn't a lot left. Oh, it's moving in here. Ooh, it's crumbling. There's very little left. Now, you can see, can you tell? Oh, lordy. Technically, I guess that's considered hitting pan. This is a cream shadow. Now, I also have Chihuahua. I have quite a bit of that one left. I use this one more. I really like jewel tones on my eyes, specifically purple. 
Um, I feel purple brings out my blue eyes. Now, this is great as a base. I love um, these cream shadows from Boxum. They are amazing. And there's another one there that I would really like to try. But I really need to use this guy up because I noticed that I've had this particular one for so long that it's starting to dry out and not be as creamy. So before it goes entirely bad, I've been trying to use it up. As you can see, it's moving around in there. There is really not a lot left. It's probably going to take me... I don't know if I'll finish it, to be honest with you guys. It's probably going to take me the duration of this project pan. Um, I, if I can get half of this little bad boy done, I would be happy. But um, that's the game plan on that. Now this next one. Now this is one that you've seen me wear a lot as well. Um, this is a lo This is one of those locally made ones that I've been telling you about. If I'm not wearing Boxum, I'm wearing this locally made one. And I have three or four of these in different colors. They all are in the purple family or in like neutrals. And they're not bad. Now, I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't. Oh, Lord, you cannot. There is very, very little product left in this. I don't know if you can see. Um, these are mineral eyeshadows. And they're not bad. They're really not. See, there's very little. What you see on top... There's about the same amount underneath, okay? So, like, double that. There's not a lot left here. They do have a very minerally scent to them. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. These are a mineral shadow. They're organic. My problem with this is I've bought mineral eyeshadows from drugstores that are, if not better, just as good. And more affordable and they do more what I they do more than what this one does it's not bad and to be honest with you I'm shocked I was able to use it because this little bugger was full I've had this for quite a long time and I've used quite a bit of it and it's not a bad shadow but it's it's not the best either at least not this this one is called storm I have it in a few different colors. I have one in peach, lavender, and taupe. And the shimmers are really nice. I love playing with those. This one, not necessarily my favorite, to be honest with you. But um, I just want to use it up. I This I'm pretty sure I can kill. And we shall see um, how successful I am. So, like I always do, I always count up how many products we have. And then I... Um, Make a number, and then we go from there as far as if Michelle rewards herself or not. So, we got... I'm counting the shampoo and conditioner as ones. So, one, two, okay, the samples, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... And I guess we're going to count these as 10. Are we going to count them? I guess we should count them as 1, 10. So I will consider this successful if I can at least use up, I want to say six of them. Now, keep in mind I'm combining this and the shampoo. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If I can use up at least six of these items, I will consider that successful. Um, I do have a video that I'm going to be doing about leftover Project Pan items that I had from the last time. I did finish some up, and I want to talk to you about those. That will be in another video. Holy cow, it's almost 14 minutes already. This has been like a half-hour Project Pan. Anyway, so if I can use up six, well, six items, because... A lot of them are combined together. I will consider it successful, and then we'll do a treat, whether it's a new eyeshadow or whatnot. We'll figure out the treat when the time comes. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going because I want to shoot one more video after this where I start talking to you about how I've been feeling about my New Year's resolutions. So we'll be right back, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.